Hello Aries, welcome to the channel or welcome back. This is the Spirit Fund and we're taking a look at your general energies for November 2020. As I've just mentioned, it's a general reading so it cannot resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate, have a look at your Sun, Moon and Rising Sign readings here on the channel. If none of those resonate, um, just keep searching here on YouTube, guys. I promise you will find the perfect reading for your current circumstances. But for the group of Aries who this reading is for, let us get started. All right, Aries, so I can see, excuse me, I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. I can see that um yeah this is quite a heavy reading unfortunately we've got the four of swords and the devil so it's starting off very heavy a lot of toxic energy that you might have been dealing with um yeah there might be something that you have chosen to leave behind or you are at the point that you have no choice but to leave something behind i'm not too sure if this is a love reading because i'm not seeing a lot of cup cards However, when I get a card in reverse, I read it, but I, I tend to clarify it. So it was clarified by the Eight of Cups, which is a cup card, an emotion card. So it could be someone that you were dating that you have found to be quite toxic and you have chosen to leave. But I'm also feeling that that toxic energy coming in with the Four of Swords in reverse, guys, it's, it's more to me, I'm picking it up as illness and weakness like physical weakness if that makes any sense or even possibly yes heartbreak that is causing physical weakness or pain in the chest like actual physical uh, pain in your chest but yeah this is the card of when you are kind of just overworked and you're exhausted you're tired and you're not taking care of yourself you might be working too hard at work Something about your job is toxic. Something about a relationship is toxic. Or even possibly since the, this is a sword card, this toxic energy might be in your head. So yes, it's been a really crazy year, guys. And we've all been dealing with a lot. Ooh, now I'm even seeing the two of wands here. So I just got another message now. So... There might even be someone because like this card indicates illness to me that maybe some of you contracted the global illness you know youtube is being a little bit strict about us saying that word for some reason but you guys know what i'm talking about that respiratory thing that's floating around possibly some of you have caught had caught this and it was quite the battle to get your health back but you were able to leave this horrible toxic energy behind the sickness behind and possibly now you're on your way to healing that's a very 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 specific message for a very few group of you guys but there is some sort of illness here so i don't know if it's a mental illness or an illness in a relationship or just working so hard at work that you've burnt out and you are physically burnt out i don't know how else to say it yeah, this reading is so heavy my goodness these cards that we've opened up with are all cards about heaviness leaving something behind that you're not leaving in a happy space you're leaving because you're leaving dejected you're leaving disappointed you have to leave kind of thing so i don't know if there's someone in your life that has been this toxic that they've actually created an illness for you wow i am so sorry if this is the case aries um but these cards are indicating to you very strongly that you need to put yourself first and it's time to walk away if you haven't already your instincts the universe your gut has been telling you for a while now that this space is not healthy for you and i think i don't know i don't think you've been listening because look at the state that it's got you into you're literally it's in reverse when this card comes out upright it means that you are taking care of yourself you're resting you're taking your vitamins you're drinking your water you're taking care of yourself basically contemplating your your pop you're like in touch with your thoughts you know what i'm trying to say you are one with yourself 
when this card comes out in reverse with the devil and this this the six of swords and the eight of cups yeah um you're burnt out you need to rest and it's almost like the universe is making you rest you're so tired that you have no choice but to sleep for a couple of days you know because you have to walk away from something that's really toxic and is essentially burning you out okay wow aries so yeah when you do choose to take this path towards yourself basically i feel like everything's gonna start falling into place and it's gonna start falling into place quite quickly okay actually i'm gonna take that back I apologize it might not be as quickly as <laughs> I'm trying to be positive here but yeah it might not be as quickly as you are hoping for because you've been in a little bit of a downward spiral and or you've been in this horrible job or relationship for a very long time now so it's gonna take some time for you to shift your vibration it's gonna take some time for you to clear your world and just find more stability so you can pick which direction you need to go in i don't think you should be even in this energy of the two of wands until you've been through the five of swords so what i'm trying to say is that you are currently burnt out so let yourself be burnt out rest heal but you're gonna have to heal this toxic energy at some point you're gonna have to move away from it don't ignore it or hope that it just goes away take your time heal yourself take your time okay because once you take your time and you release yourself from this devil energy you're gonna start to shift you're gonna start to shift your vibration okay i know sometimes when we try to change ourselves um it's hard to be patient because you yourself have made a conscious decision okay you know what i'm gonna be better i'm gonna be nicer to myself i'm not gonna date that person anymore or whatever it might be you might be changing your thoughts but the universe still needs some time to adjust to your new vibration does that make sense so while you're shifting down here the universe is shifting at a different pace so you consciously mentally deep down in your soul have told yourself that things are going to change but the universe might still be sending you things that trigger you that remind you of the state that you are tr that you're trying to leave behind you know so yeah some people think that that's the universe testing you and that could be possible it could be testing to see if you truly are done with these toxic energies i like to think of it as just the universe adjusting it's not going to adjust overnight if you've been sending a certain vibration to the universe for the past couple of years you can't expect the universe to just switch on a dime because you've chosen to switch you know what i'm saying it might take some time for the universe to tap into your current energies if you were in energies that aren't anywhere near the energy that you're in right now Ooh, i hope that this is making sense guys because yeah you're leaving something behind and i think you are starting to actually activate that energy of putting yourself first so i'm going to put this four of swords upright okay you are making the decision now to walk away from this toxic energy so you can find some space to rest and take care of yourself as you take care of yourself contemplate about all the things that have happened okay look at everything that's happened to you without any judgment just scan your past circumstances why do i attract these kind of jobs where the bosses don't appreciate me why do i attract men that cheat why why do i do things that make me vulnerable to getting sick i don't know what it is you know what i'm saying you know your circumstances but in the space of resting and healing essentially do the actual healing okay do the actual healing because there's something waiting for you that's gonna come to you that might even be travel related i know travel is not the easiest thing but there's some opportunity possibly even a long distance relationship you might be starting a job online or something along those lines a business online and it might be everything that you've ever wanted 
you know and it might actually start to bring in the money that you've always wanted but yeah it's a definite definite wish fulfillment okay but these cards are coming out so positively but they're coming out at the end of something that started off very dark in my like i felt very dark when i started this reading and now i'm feeling a little bit lighter so yeah you 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 are either healing currently or you are going to go through a phase of healing and it's gonna be beautiful should you just allow yourself to go through it okay don't try to dodge anything feel the pain grieve it go through every step of grieving and that way you'll be pure when you make your next move okay can you see the cards you'll be pure you'll know exactly which direction you want to go in and there's something about this new opportunity this this thing that you really really do desire there's something about it that's telling me it's a little bit further away or worldly or online or maybe you meet someone on tinder and they live about an hour and a half away from you maybe they live in another state or another even country possibly maybe you find a job where you can work at home and it's the perfect job because you're working online with people from all over the world but it's perfect for you because it's everything you've ever wanted because maybe it's paying you perfectly with that wheel of fortune or you're leaving a horrible toxic job and you are finally going towards that business you've always wanted to start that you know would fulfill everything within you and it's actually going to start to come together and it might be an online business or something that is related to traveling overseas maybe sending packages overseas something overseas-ish if that makes sense <laughs> so yeah like like i said it started off quite dark guys but once you activate that energy of self-care and self-love i feel like everything you've ever wanted from from the universe is gonna come to you so i don't know if that's love I'm not feeling a lot of love energy like i mentioned but you could this could indicate you meeting someone online who is everything you've ever wanted and they're quite wealthy so they can fly you over something along those lines maybe general reading guys i can only put it where i think it fits and i think there are a lot of a lot of stories that could be told from this reading so yeah it could be you need to heal from something, take some time, walk away from something. Because this energy, uh, 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 it was toxic, it was intoxicating, it was something that, you know, it looked good at first, but it wasn't good for you at all. It might have been a very manipulative energy, like it said all the right things, but it didn't pay off at the end of the day. And I feel like you really invested a lot in this energy because you've had eight cups here that's a lot of emotional investment you know so having to walk away from that might have really 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 hurt you more than you were expecting or maybe even just the panic of now i don't have a job what the hell i've got two kids what am i gonna do or now i'm single and i have to pay for this rent on my own something very very stressful about leaving this toxic energy but at the same time it was so toxic you had no choice but to leave when you leave it's not going to be easy because you probably have been in this energy for a while it might not be as quickly as you want however my dear aries i promise you something beautiful is waiting for you okay something beautiful that you've always dreamt dreamt about and here's some water uh, so it could also be an emotional new start with someone but yeah someone who is stable in life possibly financially or maybe it's someone that you meet that helps you become a little bit more stable you know maybe you meet some guy you start or some girl and you start dating them and they're like by the way i have this business do you want to come do my social media marketing and then boom all of a sudden you're making so much money you know i don't know only you know let's see what's at the bottom of the wow the fool wow guys the full card wow and the world and the tower in reverse 
Okay, okay, so the world, okay, right. <laughs> I don't usually read the bottom of the deck. Something just said, have a look, because you're only, oh, it's 15 minutes. Oh, I thought it was like 10 minutes. All right, um, the fool usually indicates that a new start is on its way. So I think that kind of just verifies everything that I've been saying, that yes, you're going to have to go through a little bit of a healing or waiting or assessment period, but something something beautiful that you've always wished for is on its way to you however because i think you're still attached to these energies the world and the tower have come out in reverse so it's going to take some time for this energy to flip because you're currently still in the tower but tower is in reverse so i think this is actually verifying that you are currently in the process of walking away this energy has happened already. Can you see the card there? Yes. The tower, so something was ripped out of your life. The, the rug was ripped from underneath you. Your foundation was basically ripped apart. So yeah, this could be work-related very much so. Or someone that you were with for quite some time and now you're not with them anymore. But it's coming in reverse, guys, which to me indicates that it's older energy. You're walking away from not walking away, you've walked away and you're in the process of walking away. The tower has happened already. But it wasn't a good moment. Like it was a very shaky time when this relationship or job was taken from you. And like I said, guys, there's something about, wow, there's something about this energy that's very worldly. Wow, this is actually really, it's confirming what I was saying earlier. There's something about this new opportunity that you're current, I don't know if you're currently manifesting, but you're walking into a new opportunity once you start the new journey, once you've healed, okay? Don't forget the healing process. Don't try to rush to this wheel of fortune. Let yourself go through this because the tower and the devil, guys, this coming out in reverse, this is heavy energies that take time to like dissipate. Let them dissipate. And then these beautiful energies are just waiting around the corner. Like I said, I think you're still in the process of healing and that's why the world has not come out upright quite yet but it will come up upright okay in time this new opportunity this new person i'm picking up maybe like an online relationship guys with someone from the other side of the world a completely different culture maybe even a different race maybe for the first time you're dating someone of the same sex and it's a whole new world for you I don't know you guys know but yeah there's something beautiful coming in your direction all right now i was just gonna clarify how far have we gone oh 18 minutes guys i don't like my readings to be too long because you guys might get bored but i'm gonna clarify with the enchanted map these two cards out here there that i usually use these cards to ground my energy just to help me realize which direction that the reading is going but yeah, the strength in reverse, I didn't understand because I think you're going to need strength right now. And commitment in reverse, I'm not sure. Let's see what the book has to say, all right? Maybe, maybe these are actual messages for you. Let's see. The strength, oh wait, it's in reverse, sorry. When you see the strength card reversed, pay particular attention to, oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. <gasps> Did I not say this card sometimes means bad health? That it, I'm picking up on illness? Look what this card says in reverse. When you see the strength card reversed, pay particular attention to your health. For this indicates that your body, mind, and spirit need strengthening at this time. Wow. Didn't I say like something about you breaking down or physical breaking down like you need to rest? exercise rest oh my goodness and proper nutrition are necessary to keep you in balance don't deplete yourself through overwork oh my goodness <laughs> as now is the time for building your stamina perhaps you feel the bonds oh my goodness i can't believe this guys i'm not making it up i promise i i promise you press pause and just read what this book is saying because i'm not making it up the devil, which I, I was saying is like being bound to something toxic. Look what it says here. Perhaps you feel bonds weakening in a relationship. 
because you're walking away from that shit. Oh my God. If you are in danger of being broken, then you may need repair. Wow. Attend to yourself. My goodness. And don't let the burdens be too heavy. Be strong. Face the reality of your relationship at this time. Wow. And give it your attention for your fragile threads may give away. Ooh. Let go of whatever robs you of your life force and trust that something better will take place. Wow. It makes more sense upside down than upright. I thought if it was coming upright, I was like, all right, it's upright. So because you're going to need strength to heal from this toxic energy. However, the fact that it's come out reverse and everything that this book is saying it means that you need to put yourself first because whatever it is that you're dealing with is going to make you sick wow commitment 36 i'm in shock i mean i know i'm a tarot reader and these cards always do this to me but every time they do like click so well it gives me like butterflies in my belly it's like holy crap like this is literally spirit you know what i'm saying Wow, commitment in reverse, guys. Let's see what this one says. You may be walking into a commitment or contract you will regret later. This isn't a good time to sign agreements or make any choice that would tie you up for a long period. If you're in a relationship, you may not receive the commitment you desire. So maybe this is old energy, like I was saying, the toxic energies that you are that you were dealing with someone maybe wasn't giving you commitment and that was stressing you out to the point of illness or this contract that you signed like i said maybe you have a really crappy boss and it looked like something you would have loved to work in because you invested so much of yourself into it but it was actually really bad for you so I think that's what this card is talking about. Something that's happened already. Whereas the strength card is probably the energies you're going to need. Ooh, don't despair for something much better awaits you. Like I said, right? Now is, oh, now is also the time for agreements to be broken. Wow. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads to wisdom later. I think that it can't be any clearer. Wow. Aries, I'm so sorry that you are going through this. However, you're going through this for a bigger reason. You can't keep this energy around you anymore, okay? And the universe gonna, is going to keep giving you these sad moments until you choose to change your vibration because there's something so beautiful. Like, honestly, guys, every card of a beautiful new start is here. It's unbelievable. And the world so yeah it started off very heavy i think it's ending off really good i hope that this is your reading guys love and light um if it resonates please do like and subscribe follow me on instagram at the spirit font tarot reiki and yoga if not i will see you on the next reading make sure you take care of yourselves guys bye